Hello, my name is Brother Sean. I'm an independent Catholic Christian lay monastic monk who is a member of the Teo community of interfaith Franciscans. Established back in 2006 when Francis spoke to our hearts to set up a community, a family of like-minded individuals, both men and women, from all faiths and none, to reach out to all those hurting in mind, body and spirit as a result of religious abuse to brothers and sisters who'd been estranged from their own family, religious family, because of not keeping up appearances and certainly not been accepted because of their lifestyle choices. This short video is an invitation to you to reconsider and come back to a loving Father Mother God. And all I can say to you is this, no one has the right to judge another, whether it is biblically based scripturally based, or from any sacred text or book. Judgment is reserved, in my opinion, to God alone. Or as Jesus said to the woman taken in adultery when the priests, the Jewish priests, and the people wanted her stoned to death. A practice that's still happening in Islam. But it's abhorrent. And Jesus said, he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. I took heart recently when one of our community, Brother Tom in America, who has a lot more experience than I have in supporting, befriending, counseling brothers and sisters who are gay and lesbian. And within that group, there is a large number who had a sense of calling from God to enter the, the monastery, the priesthood, or the church. Some of whom did and had to leave. And I know from my own experience as a Catholic Christian nursing monk, back in the 60s and 70s, I'm aware that many who came on board at a young age were really exploring their sexuality. They would no concept, but then they were discovered in an unseemly act, so-called, and removed. And the following morning at table, their place was empty, and when we would ask where our friends were, we were rebuffed. And that's how the church tread brothers and sisters whose sex, sexual orientation got the better of them. There was such judgment. And I know of brothers and sisters who've taken their own life in their monasteries, where it's been hushed up. And one thing that saddens me is praying for vocations. I could never pray for vocations, having lived the monastic life in the church. When I seen how brothers and sisters were abused, emotionally, psychologically, and where superiors would abuse the vow of obedience in the name of God and treat people accordingly. And this is not God's will. This is ego gone rotten to the core. So I'm appealing to you to support one of our community, Brother Tom, whose heart is burning with the love of his Master Jesus to set up the Rainbow Franciscan Warriors and offer you sanctuary, offer you hope. Because within our community, we embrace not only all faiths and none, but we embrace brothers and sisters of like mind. We embrace brothers and sisters with disability. There's no age limit. 
brothers and sisters who've had a drug problem, a drink problem, who are gay and lesbian, as well as heterosexual. Your sexuality is not a deterrent because my spiritual director told me about 20 years ago that your sexuality is God's gift of himself to you. And if that is true, which I believe it is, then who am I, the founder of the Teo community of interfaith Franciscans, to sit on my laurels and accuse and ostracize another soul from God? Yes, the born-again fraternity, particularly in the Christian circles, used the book of Leviticus to condemn homosexuality, but they got it wrong. Because when I was doing my thesis on my HIV and AIDS um, course back in 1995, I discovered from a Catholic theologian, a young man, a young priest, who said they got it wrong in the book of Leviticus, it was part of their culture and their coming into manhood to experience same-sex relationships. But they used that as a weapon. And that was inappropriate advice. And I would say this, always check out your biblical references by going into prayer. But I say this to you, my brothers and sisters, if you feel alienated, because of your sexual orientation, I apologize and I repent for the sins that have been committed against you. If Jesus was standing in front of you today, he would throw his arms around you and he would love you. And this is what he would say from the little book, The Light Worker's Way, which Magdalena and Jesus inspired my heart to write some eight years ago for the therapists that were guided to us to train as a scenic energy medicine practitioners. And this is what Jesus says. Be my witness. If you feel overburdened, overtaxed, draw on me for strength, for understanding and for wisdom, and I will give you the answer. Turn to me and seek my help. Over every test and trial, I will deliver you from all that would drag you down if you will only let me and will call upon me for help. How can you know if that help is available unless you try it out and see what happens? How can you know my wondrous love and care unless you place yourself in my hands and seek my love and my care? My word rings clear as a bell. All it needs is your wholehearted, positive face to prove the wonder and glory of it for all to see. Be my witness. Be my channel, be my hands, be my feet. Open yourself up and be absolutely fearless. Let me work in and through you with love and many blessings your brother Jesus, the Barefoot Galilean. Dear friends, I have no other words to add to that except to say that I too have battled with many demons in my life. And as one who understands your journey very well, there is a price to pay. Society rejects anyone, anything that does not conform to keeping up their appearances. Sure, next door in the Methodist Church, I was asked never to return because in their opinion, I'm not a Christian. And that was very hurtful, but my ego was smarting. But in prayer, Jesus said, if there is no welcome for you in my house, wipe the dust from your feet and depart, but give a blessing. I have done that and I'm free. And Jesus doesn't want us to be embroiled in this negativity and judgment. He cares for you as he does me. The Teo community of interfaith Franciscans invites you to come on board and share that dream where all is one, where we're all equal in the eyes of a loving God.